Ezekiel, a prophet in the Old Testament, was chosen by God to deliver his messages to the people of Israel during their exile in Babylon. God often instructed Ezekiel to act out symbolic actions to convey his message vividly. In one notable instance, God commanded Ezekiel to depict the impending captivity and judgment of Israel. He was to lie on his side facing a model of Jerusalem under siege, symbolizing the duration of Israel's punishment. 390 days for the house of Israel, and 40 days for the house of Judah. During this time, Ezekiel was to eat measured portions of bread and drink a limited amount of water, signifying the scarcity and rationing that the Israelites would face during the siege. After completing this action, Ezekiel was instructed to shave his head and beard, weigh the hair, and divide it into three parts. Some would be burned, some struck with a sword, and some scattered to the wind. These actions represented the various fates of the people of Israel. Some would die by famine and disease, some by violence, and others would be scattered among the nations. Additionally, Ezekiel was commanded to pack his belongings and act as if he were going into exile. He was to dig through a wall in the dark, symbolizing the clandestine escape of the inhabitants of Jerusalem. This demonstrated the desperate measures the Israelites would take to evade their captors. Through these dramatic acts, Ezekiel served as a visual representation of the impending judgment and captivity of Israel. His actions served to warn the people of the consequences of their disobedience and to proclaim God's righteous judgment upon them. Ezekiel's symbolic actions emphasized the severity of Israel's situation and their need for repentance. They also conveyed God's faithfulness in fulfilling his prophetic word and his ultimate plan to restore and redeem his people. Ezekiel's ministry highlights the importance of obedience and faithfulness in proclaiming God's message, even in challenging circumstances. His actions served as a powerful testimony to the reality of God's judgment and the need for repentance and restoration. This is the end of this episode. Follow for more content.